attaching to it. Here's how you can make Windows XP look and act like Windows 7. But first a little disclaimer. I did not create any of these files so I don't support them but all of them have been tested to be virus free. Keep in mind that installing extra programs on your computer has the potential of slowing down your computer. So please set a system restore point before installing any of these programs so that you can restore your computer if necessary. To try and make this process easier, I've grouped all the programs that we'll be covering into one 15 megabyte download that you can find at this link. Once you have it downloaded and extracted, you will notice seven folders that each represent a different step. The first folder will install the Windows 7 visual theme. So open up that folder and then open up the theme folder inside of it. Double click on theme.exe and run through the installation process. When the theme is installed you'll notice that your taskbar and the background will have changed. Now go back to the step 1 folder and then open up the styler toolbar folder. Double click on first install me.exe to install the styler program. When it's through double click on then run me.exe to install the Windows 7 style. Now go to Start All Programs Styler and start the Styler program and this should put a Styler icon in the taskbar. Now double click on the icon and then double click on the Windows 7 visual style. And this should make your computer theme look a lot, a lot more like Windows 7. Another Windows 7 feature is that the taskbar only shows icons and not text. So to add this functionality, go back to the Step 1 folder and open up the Iconized Taskbar Hack folder. Then click on Install.reg to add a registry hack for showing only icons. Then once it's installed, log out and then log back into your account and you should see the new icon feature. The remaining two folders in the Step 1 folder are for fonts and a hack for common tasks. You can install these if you want, but I'm going to skip over them for this tutorial. Now go back to the main folder and open up the Step 2 folder. This folder is for changing the icons to match Windows 7. So double click on the icon theme folder and then double click on first install me.exe to install the icon tweaker program. Next double click on then run me.exe and it should launch the icon set. Click apply and OK and you should see your icons change from Windows XP to Windows 7 icons. The steps 3 and 4 folders install Windows 7 window functionality called Arrow Shake and Arrow Snap. First open up the Arrow Shake folder and double click on arrowshake.exe. When it's through installing it should put an icon in the taskbar. Now all you have to do is shake the current window that you're in and all other windows should minimize. Next go into the step 4 folder and double click on Arrow Snap to install it. Once it's through installing, you can go ahead and launch it, and now you should be able to drag your window to either the left or the right side of the screen, and it will snap to that side of the screen. You can also drag it to the top of the screen, and it will maximize the window. The Step 5 folder installs a program that mimics the way Windows 7 allows you to drag and drop items in the taskbar to reorder them. Just double click on TS 2.5 to install it and after you've got it installed and launched you should be able to drag and drop uh, the taskbar icons to different locations. In the step 6 folder you'll find an application that changes the Windows XP hard drive icon so that they have a percentage bar that shows how full they are. Just double click on Vista Drive icon 1.4 to install it. Then launch the program and open your My Computer icon and you should now see a percentage bar underneath your hard drive. The last step adds the Windows 7 Show Desktop feature to the taskbar. Double click on showdesktop.exe to install it and it should add a button to the far right of your taskbar that acts as the Show Desktop button. And when you click it, it should minimize everything to the taskbar.